my goodness! Sorry, hey, you are getting way too close, my guy. What's up, fellow masters? It's your hand master here for Nath Master 14, and welcome to Siren Head. Now, this game is one of the games that I'm trying to diversify my gameplay by, and also this game is still kind of trending on the on the internet a lot. And there are other Siren Head games, and this is the this is the original Siren Head, based on the creature by Trevor Henderson, which um, which is which was based on his artwork. So. Yeah, you'll see why in a little bit. And with that being said, let's just go ahead and start Siren Head. And um, you see the controls down here on the bottom left. Move is WASD. Examine is right mouse button. And run is shift. So, let's go ahead and start it. Alright, so... Oh, is that our truck right there? Let's see. Let's see. Right mouse exam. My old forest service truck. I really should get it washed. Uh, yep. Might as well. Let's see. Should be hearing him. Oh, that's him. That's why all the birds are flying up to the trees. You see him? Watch, he'll appear in the trees. See, that's him. That's him. Let's see real quick. Alright, let's see. It's a backpack. Maybe it belongs to the missing hiker, but why leave it behind? Uh, I don't know. Maybe a siren head would shut his mouth. Jeez. Siren head, you really trying to interrupt me, huh? Uh, is it? Is that poop on the? Is that poop on the ground? Oh no, it's not poop. It looks like it though. Scratch marks. These weren't made by any animal I know of. Well, duh. There's no animals out here that will make that. Let's see. A scrap of a shirt. Looks like there was a struggle. I wonder who. By who. Was it Siren Head? Some more poop on the wall. It's not poop. More strange scratch marks. Let's see. Um, Can we hide inside here? Yes, we can. But sadly, we can't turn our flashlight off. So, um, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and, um, let's see. See, what's this? These scratches seem to lead up here. Oh, does it? Let's find out. All these trees and whatnot. Oh! Look at this! Seems to lead up to this area. Okay. Let's see. Could that be? Oh, what what the heck is this? Well, I don't know what that is in the tree. It probably looks like that old scrap of a shirt that we saw back in that other um that other part of the jungle or forest, whatever. And what's that? Is that blood? Ooh, somebody must have got killed by Siren Head. Let me see. I have to get back to the truck now. Oh my goodness! Siren Head, you are getting way too close, my guy. Alright, I need to get a thumbnail. Get a good thumbnail? Okay, right there, right there, right there. Hey, Siren Head, you ready to get your freaking ankles broke? I may not be a samurai or Cory Kitchen. I can still break angles though. Alright, let's get another thumbnail right here. A good right there. That's good enough, right there. He's getting his angles broken. Uh are you trying to fool me, Siren Head? Cause I don't think you can fool me. I'm way too smart for that. Is he coming back? Well, he's still back there, so, um, yeah, he's still back there, and as, as the person in Benny the Ink Machine says, I'm out of here. 
Yeah, but it's, it also seems like um, that Siren Head can manipulate um, can manipulate human voices and stuff. And that'll be clearly evident once we play the other Siren Head games. But now we have to get a jump scare. Well, not a jump. It's not necessarily a jump scare, but it's not a necessarily a jump scare. But we had to get an animation of him killing us. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and jump cut when we get back to that part where the siren head is spawns in front of us. So, all right, guys, we're back at the uh at the part where siren head spawns in front of us. So, yeah, this is the part where we have to let him kill it. Oh, jeez, that easily, jeez. Golly! Never expected that to happen. We have to get at least one. Well, we'll get another one where he's chasing us too. So again, we'll jump cut it right here. Well, actually, start right here, and then we'll jump cut it. Actually, let me see this part real quick. So what does this say? A hiker was reported missing. I was sent here to take a look around for them. Hopefully they're not hurt. Oh, this sign called a uh, Pine Ridge Hiking Trail. And it says no vehicles allowed. So that's part of why he parked his truck here. Well, I don't have to jump cut it because you already know what happens. And we just... And apparently it's much quieter than it was the first attempt that we did this. So... And just imagine if it was real life. And I did and I did see some uh siren head um siren head shorts people making of um and that's those are not the only noises that siren head could actually make. When we play the other siren head games, there's those will clearly be clearly be evident. So um let's see real quick. Alright, so so now we have to wait for him to start following us. Oh shoot. I'm sorry guys. I just had to turn off my phone because... Alright, so is he following us? Alright, Siren Head. I'm not going to break your ankles this time. Oh, I thought he wasn't going to grab me. But, um... Jeez. Yeah, that's pretty much it from from there. We're gonna do one more attempt where we survive him, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna end the video there. So, because this is technically a short game, um, this is technically a short game. So, yeah. So I'm gonna jump cut it. Yeah, I'm gonna jump cut it one more time until we get until we get back to that part. So yeah, I'm gonna jump cut right here. All right, guys, we're back at this part again. Now we're gonna break his ankles one more time. Hey, Siren Head, come at me. Come at me, I'm gonna break your ankles again. Yeah, come near me. I'm gonna break your ankles again. Yeah, you just got your ankles broke. Get your freaking ankles broke. I may not be Corey Kenshin. I may not be Corey Kenshin or a samurai, but I can still break ankles. Because masters can break ankles too. I am FNAF Master 14, and I am a master of horror and adventure games. I can I can break this guy's ankles as well. So yeah. And when it gets a little bit closer, to, and then when it gets a little closer to you, it kind of does act like Slender Man a little bit. So yeah. So I'm out of here again, literally. But yeah, he does kind of act like Slender Man. Which I haven't played Slender Man, but that's for future reference when I play that. Because that is a horror game. Is it, did we win? Yes, we did. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. But um, yeah, so that's basically all it is. And when he gets close to you, he just acts kind of like Slender Man. Therefore, it gets all glitchy and whatnot. But yeah, 
that is basically it for this Siren Head game. Next, I think the next video, I'm going to start trying to make this a series because there are other Siren Head games, most of which are on Steam, which I'm going to find out how to, I'm going to find, um, find a good time to play those. And this is just the beginning of the Siren Head series. I might start playing some, or at least one of them next month, so stay tuned for that. And also, stay tuned for more videos, like, more videos on various games besides the FNAF and FNAF fan games, like, Al Oni, um, um, just to name a few. Al Oni is one of them, and this is one of them, too. And also, Cry of Fear. Cry of Fear is another one as well. So, with that being said, that's going to be it for this Siren Head. And next video will be a next video on this series will be another Siren Head game from Steam. I'll let y'all not got I'll let you guys know when that it when when that will take place and what and which game that's gonna be. So with that being said, if you wanna see more Siren Head, go ahead and give that like button, the master punch, start there, join the master community, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>